Like any content management system, Website Baker allows you to add more things to it, to the um, what they might call the naked installation. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at some modules and add-ons that we can apply to make our Website Baker a little bit more efficient at doing certain things. So you want to go to look at Website Baker site, and you'll find that they've got some modules, and you can go to their module repository and take a look at different modules that are here. You can also go back and take a look at the admin tools that you want to use. Um, and then they actually have this thing called the AMASP, which is the All Modules and Snippets Project. And so I, I go to this website often because it has a lot of the features that I want. And so let's take a look at what modules are. Modules are installed into Website Baker. So if I go to my, my add-ons, and choose modules, they need to be installed right here. The other one is code snippets. Code snippets are often just very simple um, PHP codes, and these would go into a code section. So we would copy that code, go over to our um, pages, and find a code section and paste that in and be able to run just regular PHP code. So the nice thing about snippets um, is that it's just PHP code that you could use anytime. And of course, we don't really need to use this because that's not the most exciting thing to do to count down to Christmas. Droplets are something that are really, really cool that I love. Droplets allow us to create PHP code that we call later. And we're going to take a look at that later. Now, admin tools I really like as well, such as the, the add on file editor and maybe even backup. So to use these, what we want to do is download the files. So I can download this file, and I've saved it right now. If I show it in the folder, I am downloading it to my Downloads folder, which is where I was saving things earlier. Let's see what else we have here. We've got um, Admin Tools Backup, and it looks like we can download that. So let's download the backup, hopefully it'll work. Okay, it did download. So let's see about installing these into our website. So let's go to Add-ons, Modules, and I'm going to choose these files. So these files are under my Downloads. And here's the Add-on File Editor. The folder that you saw at first was one that I was playing with with a lot of other add-ons. So there's the Add-on File Editor. And by the way, I'm going to open up, before I do this, I'm going to open a new tab and right now this is going to go into the administration tools when we install this. Notice that we have CAPTCHA to start off with. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this and it says it installed correctly and so I can come back to the other one and refresh and you'll see that we added that add-on file editor to our administration tools. Now the nice thing about this particular add-on editor is that we can do all sorts of cool things like we can um, edit all of the installed templates like the Anther template we're currently using. And I can click on that and you can see the code here. And I can edit pretty much anything that I need. If I don't like this editor, I can go back to just a regular um, a non, I guess, colored editor. Sometimes the editor does some funny things. Um, but you can see I, I can choose kind of the syntax for whatever I want. So the HTML syntax is correct for what I'm doing here. Now, um, we can do some other things with this editor as well. Typically, if I go back, you'll see that I can create files and folders and upload files. So it's pretty cool what you can do with that particular file editor. Now, there's some other things here um, that we really didn't take a look at in the admin tools, and we'll take a look at the JavaScript admin and stuff later. Anyway, back in add-ons, I'm going to add a different one, and that's going to be this backup one. So let's go ahead and install that says that it installed correctly. If I go to Admin Tools now, I should see Backup. And what this allows me to do is backup the database or backup all files, which is really cool. So I'm going to backup all the tables in the database. Click on Backup. And you'll see that it actually made a backup of the database for me. So I didn't have to go to PHP My Admin and back up the database 
um, directly. So by the way, if you're curious, this is basically the same thing. What we just did is the same thing as going to PHP My Admin and logging in and then going into um, that database and exporting the database. So if I export that database, that's pretty much the exact same thing that we just did. It just does it without us having to go in. So really nice. Now we can also back up all the files and we can back up only WB specific tables, which is kind of cool. All right, back in our admin tools, um, there are lots of other modules that we can install, but we're not going to really go that far because um, basically you just have to find out which modules you're looking for, um, read about them, and figure out if they are going to give you what you want, and then you can install them and see if they work. One that I've installed a number of times is this front edit, um, and so maybe we'll just do one more just because. So with add-on, uh, let me go to install this module. I'll do the front edit. I'll install it. And let's just see if I can get some information about that front edit right here. So the view details um, says who created and everything else, but it doesn't really give me all the information that I want to know. So I might have to go back and take a look at this and see um, if this works. So it says front edit. PHP in my template. So let's see if that works. We'll go back to admin tools, add on front editor, anther, and we're going to change our index file here. And it means that we need to add this PHP function somewhere. So let's do it um, at the beginning of our, our content. So we're going to start with the PHP, then we're going to paste in front edit, question mark and then finish that. So there is that front edit PHP tag that we've saved in. So we'll do save and back and let's see what happens on our website. If we view our website, looks like I am not seeing the front edit and that's because we're gonna have to read some more about it and if we do some more reading about it we're gonna find out that we need to have certain things like uh, login enabled. So let's see if that works. Now we can edit the page. So it's tricky about using certain functions like this because you do have to read into the details and find out when they're enabled and when they're not enabled. And so um, if I remember looking at this, it doesn't really show whether or not we have to have that enabled. So sometimes you have to go to the threads and read about them. But what that enables me to do is to go and look at the page and then edit the page. And right now it's making a new page each time I click on things. So just be aware of that. It's, it's opening in a new page each time, which can kind of be a pain. And so that's the type of thing you could possibly go and, and change because it is actually uploading these things. If I look in my modules, it's uploading them into the modules folder. And you can go in there and take a look at what the code is generating. So let's take a look. So here's the include. So here's the include information right here. And somewhere in here, it is taking a target blank. And I'm going to take that target blank out so it doesn't open up a new page save this and now if I refresh and choose edit page it should open in the same page and I go back take a look you'll notice now this one when I view the site is jumping me over to another page but at least the edit doesn't so the point of this is that you can learn a little bit about your um, <clears throat> functions or your modules by taking a look at what they have included when they're installed some of them are going to be pretty complex, but if you look at this FCK editor, whoops, sorry, front edit, that's a pretty simple one. Um, the only one that actually uh, is the function is that um, include PHP. This index is not is allowing or not allowing you to access this module directly um, or module folder directly. And if whoops, 
and this info file is what is coming up as the info when um, we are trying to find out that module info in our website baker. When we go to add-ons, modules, and then pro the module details, that's where that information is coming up. So just something to be aware of. Um, now, the next thing that I want to look at um, actually are some other admin things that you can do. Now, um, we're going to skip droplets for right now, and we'll come back to that here in a second. But there are some really cool things that you can add on here, such as JavaScript admin. We can add all sorts of crazy stuff here. Um, what this allows me to do is make it so I can drag around pages and all sorts of stuff in that admin. But there's another um, add-on that I want to take a look at, which is really, really powerful. This add-on is called jQuery Admin. Now jQuery has become an important part of all web design. So this is a really cool um, installation of jQuery and jQuery UI and all sorts of stuff for Website Baker. So if I go to add-ons, modules, and I install the jQuery add-on, Now, when I go to Admin Tools, you'll see the jQuery version 2x module. Now, this is really cool, and I'm not going to go over how it is used completely, but be aware that you can add all sorts of different things. You can add plugins and presets and add um, cool jQuery add-ons that will come out. Now, all of these are different JS files, accordions and um, fancy box, slim box, um, the UI themes, the UI externals, all these different things can be added on. Now, if you want to use them, though, you have to be aware that you have to, of course, create your plugins or presets, and then you have to call those presets. And we're not going to cover that in any of the tutorials here, but I would definitely suggest that you read about it and take a look at how they're being used because it is pretty darn cool but it is not super 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 um, easy to understand um, in a very quick tutorial so I'm not going to deal with any of those right now but jQuery is a great add-on for website baker as well as it for any other website now, um, we're going to stop here, and in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at droplets, which are a little bit easier to understand and very, very powerful. So, go on.